now let's discuss about the nenhydrin test that is basically used for the detection of alpha amino acids so in this particular test we react an amino acid with nenhydrin so this is the structure of a compound nenhydrin that is basically indane 123 trione hydrate so this molecule is basically stabilized by intramolecular hydrogen bonding so next let's see what is the compound formed during the reaction between an amino acid and nenhydrin so this is the complex that is formed during the reaction of an amino acid with nenhydrin now we can clearly see the side products released they are basically h2o co2 rcho that is a aldehyde so these molecules are released as by products water carbon dioxide and aldehyde so this product is basically a purple colored compound or we can say a purple colored anion it can be represented in the form of anion or there may be oh also so this is basically known as rohman's purple this is very important for entrance exams rohman's purple is this compound please note that uh, proline and hydroxyproline that is the secondary amine they give yellow or orange color complexes with nenhydrin so these two are exceptions to the purple colored compound now this reaction is basically very important in the case of forensic chemistry or fingerprint detection now let's study how it is important in fingerprint detection our sweat basically comprised primarily of water but it also contains many organic compounds that includes amino acids also so whenever nenhydrin is treated with amino acid there occurs a reaction between amino acids and nenhydrin that forms fluorescent purple image that is nothing but the latent fingerprints so it is quite useful in the forensic chemistry or fingerprint detection so that's the main use of uh, nenhydrin and amino acid reaction now moving on to the next test that is xanthoprotic test now proteins that contain benzene ring they get nitrated by warm concentrated nitric acid to give a yellow color which basically changes to orange with the addition of uh, alkali so that is our xanthoprotic test that is used for proteins our next test is biuret test now proteins they give blue violet color on reacting with very dilute copper sulfate in alkaline solution please remember the color that is blue violet color so this test is again for proteins now the test is positive whenever two amide groups that is co nh groups they are joined with the same carbon or nitrogen now what's important to note here is the given compound however does not respond to this test so this is the exception one so biuret test that is again for proteins that gives us blue violet color now let's move to our next test that is millens test now proteins on warming with millens reagent that is basically ag2 no3 twice mercurous nitrate and mercuric nitrate plus nitric acid now these basically give white ppts which changes to red on heating so millens test again is it is for proteins now it is the characteristic test for tyrosine amino acid that has a phenolic group now the last one is our hopkins cold test that gives violet color 